Well done, Comrade General! We have analyzed flight plan of this rocket ship. It is programmed to fly to the moon. We must find out why. You have cosmonaut training, yes? The liftoff was without complications, Comrade General. You'll achieve lunar orbit in moments. Your retro rockets should fire automatically to allow for a smooth landing. Take care, my General. You have many reasons to return safely, no? Retro rockets will fire in three, two, one. Your spacecraft has landed, Comrade General. Finally, Soviets have reached the moon! One baby step for Comrade General, one giant leap for Soviet people, yes? <laughs> Incoming transmission. The spacecraft's computer has revealed Yuri's plan to us. Yuri's moon base is nearby. He will evacuate to this base with an army of clones once the Psychic Dominator network has been activated. The base must be eliminated. Sir, Yuri is deploying a new unit called the Magnetron. It can generate a powerful electromagnetic field that can drag our tanks towards it. This thing is Yuri's mastermind. It can take control of our units just as Yuri himself can. We have discovered its weakness though. It can only control so many of our units before it overloads itself and is destroyed. Battle control online. Waiting orders. Comrade General, Shifting to the thrusters. east there is open ground suitable for base construction. But be warned, our operatives report that Yuri has more than one base in the area. Hello everyone, welcome back to Yuri's Revenge Soviet campaign. This is mission 6 on the mood. And we get another transmission. New construction options. Incoming transmission. Some of our vehicles have been modified for use on the lunar surface, but conventional troops cannot survive here. Fuel mix optimized. Our infantry must wear cosmonaut suits. These are equipped with lasers and rocket packs. Yuri's base is north of our position. Vehicle report. Good luck, Fuel mix optimized. New rally point is... This unit only appears in this mission. It is unavailable for any other missions or even in the scrimmages this is the only time you ever see this unit but the thing is it's not just uh, just your unit it's also Yuri's units also <laughs> he makes them too they're pretty powerful but really expensive new construction options there are no resources on this airless rock comrade general you must make the best of the funds you already have good luck this also means I cannot build refineries. There are ways to get some money, but it's really Building. not much. Beware of these floating disks, Comrade General. Yuri has designed them to be able to drain power from our Tesla and nuclear reactors, as well as our own defensive buildings. And if they get near a refinery, they are even better thieves than the accursed Allied spies. Construction complete. All right, I think we're done with the transmissions for for a little while, at least until the very end of the uh, mission. Anyways, um, which what should I talk about first? Um, we are introduced to three units from Yuri in this one. Now I know we've seen them before in the Allied campaign, but they were. They weren't all together. I think the Mastermind and the uh, floating th or Flying Discs were introduced in the same mission, but I think the Megatrons came, uh, came through separate. Um, I think I mentioned them before, but just in case, they are pretty powerful. They, they can... Um, they can pull any 
uh, tanks over to you or over to the to the unit and as you saw at the very start of this mission it is a pretty co nice com combination with the uh, mastermind right next to it with that said they are also very powerful at destroying buildings um, get enough of them, of them to uh, attack a building they will take it down in seconds so you do have to be careful with them masterminds just like like before they can control up to three units at a time um, if you try to uh, control more then it can over they will overheat or over get overwhelmed and actually destroy itself And then the floating disc, like, like she said, and what I've just said before, they're pretty nasty if you can if they get into your base. Um, luckily, I don't have to worry about that. Um, now, I distinctly remember this mission being harder uh, when I was younger, but I guess over the years I got a little bit better at the game, and it's no longer that difficult. Um, now, for whatever reason, even though these these infantry units are the only, are the ones modified for or m made for this mission, you can actually um, train um, desolators. I think that's what they're called, right? Yeah. Um. I don't know why, though. Yes, they are kind of effective towards um, towards tanks, but they're not practical. You can build apocalypse tanks, which will do a whole lot more damage than than these these units ever could. They're more effective towards infantry units, and all the infantry units in this mission are going to be up in the air, like rocketeers. So I don't know why. They made it so that you can train these units. So I don't use them. I don't see why anyone would want to use them. Um, but yeah, it, it's not really packed, practical. Anyways, um, as I mentioned before, there is a way that you can get some more more money. Um, there are two small Yuri ba bases in between your base and Yuri's main base. If you destroy them, you can actually get you'll actually drop a crate um, with 5,000 credits. So yeah, you can get get these crates and it'll give you some more money, but it's not really practical. It they kind of it kind of sucks. So that's 10,000 uh, credits that you can get. Um, so yeah, they're not that that big. Now, as you can see, tell by the map, it is very tall. Not very wide, it's really narrow area. I don't know why they set it up that way, I guess so you don't wander around aimlessly trying to find these bases, but really, yeah. Anyways, um... So yeah, w this makes it so that you have to go through at least one of the bases to get to his base. Um, which I guess that's why I made it. Uh, why it was kind of hard for me in the past. I t in the past I tend to build my base, make this huge, massive uh, base, and then and struggle to have to defend it the whole time, not really thinking about uh, building a large fleet of tanks and and infantry units. Anyways. Once you get th get through, though, throw um, you get up here. It's really relatively easy to destroy his base. Um, I do kind of mess up uh, at the end of the mission, and you guys will see in a little while. But um, as long as you have enough apocalypse tanks and um, your infantry units, you can get through this base get through the mission pretty well. Um, the infantry units are mainly for 
the uh, towers, but if you have enough apocalypse tanks, you can pretty much tank just through anything. Um, but as you can see, I'm destroying everything on here. Here, so it didn't take very long for me to uh, wipe out the base. But I do run into one problem. There is two objectives to destroy his lab and his base. Well done, Commander General. Victory will soon be ours. Unit promoted. As you may expect, uh, I'm a little confused because it's like, where's the other base? Uh, or where's the other building? There it is, right there in the top left corner. He must have rebuilt it. But I found a glitch. There's no more bases. No more units. You have only succeeded in delaying the inevitable. I will win. Mission accomplished. Yeah, just like that. It's like, oh, the, I guess the game recognized that I finished. So yeah. Um. Anyways, <laughs> that's the mission, and it's one of the most. It's the one of the only other missions that I remember besides the very first mission and the Romanov uh, mission, trying to save the Romanov, um, and Deja Vu. But other than that, the other missions I could not remember. This one I remember the most being the hardest, but I soon discovered that, no, nope, the last mission is the hardest, which we're coming up to. That's right. One more mission, and we're done with this, uh, with the uh, Soviet campaign. And I'll be getting ready for the next project. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, um, leave a comment down below, sharing what you what you guys thought. And I'll see you guys in the next mission. Bye, guys.